I think the key to the Tiller beat is the hi-hats. They got to just be placed right. Not necessarily a lot going on, which we, we probably will do a lot, but it's all about the placement. What's good, what's good, what's good? Ice Age Beats here in the studio once again. Welcome to the channel for those that are new or back visiting it again. What's good, what's good? Here on the channel, we help producers just like yourself create pro beats, professional sounding industry producer beats right from the crib, all right? Right from my seat right here, right from the home studio, the comfort of your home. Nowadays, it is so easy to make beats, uh, but we just don't have the right tools, right? So I'm gonna give you this super dope resource. It's called the Ultimate Beat Maker Toolkit. Come on, you, you can't, that sounds crazy. That sounds catchy. It's like, ooh, okay, I like that. Go ahead and put this guide out, slap it down on your desk, and refer back to it whenever you need it. I'm telling you, you're gonna have the best sounds, the best resources that I recommend and use so you can make beats, make bangers, just like the one you're gonna hear today, okay? So go ahead and download that guide. It's right here and in the description. That's my free gift to you. Other than that, let's go ahead and get right into the studio. Um, so I wanna add this really cool hi-hat pattern that I'm thinking in my head and I hopefully I can execute it. <laughs> Snare, boom. All right, and this is gonna be an easy snare. We're just gonna play it right here in the channel rack. You don't have to play on the keyboard, no need for all that. Crazy, it's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna crank these up. We want these to snap. All right, and we can throw in these other hi-hat loops back in again and see what that sounds like all together. Such a vibe, man, such a vibe. This is Tiller vibes for sure. So let's go ahead and find this kick or this pot, this uh, kick pattern, and uh, let's get to it. What I want to do is add one more hi-hat in here and what I want to do with it is make it a little faster so we can have some different types of, uh, it's not necessarily a change of tempo but it's just a change of bounce throughout the track. Okay, so I want to add in another hi-hat real quick. All right, so we're just going to play every two on this one and of course we're going to, every other, we're going to turn down the velocity of, you know, each one. All right, very simple. Boom, 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 boom. All right. That's good. Oh, my bad. Doing too much. All right. All right. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and mute the other ones because this is going to be a different type of vibe. <laughs> See the difference in vibes right there? So automatically we're already getting a different vibe. All right, what I want to do is uh, create more of a pattern for these hi-hats and I want it just to be simple. So boom. Hey. 
that's simple enough, right? <laughs> you enjoyed the content enjoyed the tutorial enjoyed the whole process man and hopefully it inspires you to cook up a rb beat a bryson tiller type beat um, if you do and decide to cook something up of course send it my way so i can check it out and definitely check out the ultimate beat maker toolkit it's right here and in the description so you can get access to the best tools the best plugins all that good stuff all right check it out see you in the next video peace